Now, even though there aren't spectators out on the course this year, there's still a need to maintain the players' safety. Our Jason Osenbaugh introduces us to some of the heroes out on the course. I actually grew up kind of around this tournament. My dad was a, a volunteer driver uh, for them and took the golfers uh, to and from the course to their hotels, the airport, all of that stuff. Uh, so I'd always gone, grown up with that. I had volunteered out here a couple times to walk with some of the golfers and things like that. So been around the tournament since I was a kid. Uh, it's grown uh, leaps and bounds. I mean, I remember this being a really small tournament, uh, always back when it was the Jamie Farr. And so, you know, Marathon has taken over and really expanded this tournament. A lot bigger name players, bigger purse. Uh, it's really neat to see what this does for the community every every year. You know, obviously there's still players, there's still volunteers, there's still staff members, things like that. We uh, It's a little rough getting a fire engine uh, out into the middle of the course, so we're still out here for stuff like that. We have less crews than we normally would, uh, but there's still Homeland Security concerns. There's still, you know, all of the concerns that go with that. You know, it's, it's a big national event, uh, so there's there's pieces that we bring to that, uh, keeping an eye out for terrorist events or, or different things like that. With the lack of spectators, we don't have the intoxicated spectator. We don't have the young guy uh, chasing after the young golfer. Um, we, don't, we have the ease of access for first aid, for um, a, a plethora of things. Uh, yes, it's very, very nice, too, because every now and again it's nice to come to a place and not have to worry as much by, by being observant when you're looking at thousands of spectators. The LPGA, along with its partners, have done an unbelievable job forming a bubble. Um, I can go through it, but it takes us 10 minutes uh, of what we need to do to get on here and get these things. The testing, the temperatures, the protocol, the bubbles, where we drive, what we drive, where we stay. Um, but all in all, it makes uh, the, the ladies and even myself extremely happy to be out, giving the, uh, the public the ability to watch TV and enjoy sports, especially ladies golf. Thanks again to our Jason Ozenbaugh and a special shout out and thank you to all of the public safety officials all across Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan, especially those out at the course this week.